Okay, this video is uh, some quick tips on scanning. When your machine is turned on and you're ready to go, you're going to hit preview. Uh, we're going to scan this Sensodyne tooth Turkish toothpaste uh, tube. And let's see, make sure everything's out of the way. Uh, when the lights are flashing, you can place things in front of it and it will eventually see them. So there's the toothpaste tube. The ideal location, the ideal distance for the tube is when these bars show up in the middle of the five green bars, this green histogram. You want the bars in the middle. Once they're in the middle, the scanner can see it as clearly as um, effectively as is possible. From here, what you're really going to do, especially with sherds, is you're going to rotate it. Pretend like these are tweezers and this is a sherd. You're just going to sit here and you're going to rotate the sherd, keeping it roughly um, 8 to 10 inches uh, in front of the scanner as it is now and uh, the scanner will be able to read it. Now, in order to actually begin scanning, uh, you want to keep the object in front of the scanner and you want to hit record, which is right here uh, on the computer, on the program. You hit record, there'll be a slight pause, it'll come back on and you'll see a green outline surrounding the object in front of the scanner. Anything that is inside the green outline is scanned. So you sit here and you rotate your object the green outline continues to appear and when you feel like you've gotten all sides of it uh, you can always rotate it up so we get the bottom of the cat for instance that red means that I've gotten too far away so I need to come back here and when you get the red bar across the top so that ended up working well that means you're in danger of uh, freezing the computer uh, so now we have uh, the color isn't great but that's because this is a rough scan of this uh, Sensodyne toothpaste bottle. If we, uh, another thing we can do, we can hit preview again and we can do the bottom of the toothpaste bottle because we didn't get the bottom in the first scan. So you hit record and this is going to be awfully thin so it might not actually do a great job. Okay, it's not going to like that rotation so let's actually lower this and get some of the We gotta get that in there. Uh, there we go. It doesn't like thin surfaces. So now I've got the bottom half of it and the top half of it has two different scans. Uh, and if you want to know how to align those two different scans, uh, view the alignment video.